Perfect. So what I want to remind you guys of, what I asked you to do before break, what I asked you to do before break was to see if you guys could put this in y equals mx plus b form, which we like to call slope-intercept form. So a couple things I told you guys to remember is remember the intercepts is where a graph crosses the x and y intercept, right? Where it crosses the y intercept is at 0, 4, which would say y intercept is equal to y equals 4. And where it crosses the x intercept is where it crosses the x axis, all right? So those are your two intercepts. The next thing we looked at was, well, so for the slope intercept form, you have to know what the y intercept is. So for this equation, the y intercept is up here, right? Which is what value? Four. four. Okay? So we know the y intercept is four. Then we need to then we said, well, what is the slope? Find the slope of the line. Remember the slope we said was um, the change in your y values over your change in your x values from going from one point to another. So how am I changing my height, or sometimes we call it a rise, which we'll talk about in a second, to go from this point to this point? Well, we say we went down one, two, three, four, and how far do I have to go over? Eight. Seven. seven, right? So to go from one point to the next, I had to go down four over seven. So what I can write is, if I know my y-intercept, I can say my y-intercept is equal to four, and my slope is equal to a negative 4 over 7. Remember that your slope is a ratio. All right? So to put it in y equals mx plus b form, remember that m represents your slope and b represents your y-intercept. So if I want to write this as an equation for a slope of a line, I'm going to keep my y, but instead of my m, I'm going, to re I'm going to write in what my slope is, which is a negative 4 over 7x plus my y-intercept, which is 4. So if I ask you what is the equation of this line, you're going to want to find the y-intercept, then determine between two points what is your slope is, and then plug that in to find the answer. All right? I'm going to tell you I got a little trouble with 